Welcome everyone, join us today as we delve into the life and career of the legendary Demis Roussas, a musical icon whose powerful voice and emotive performances captivated audiences worldwide. So let's dive in. Demis Roussas born Artemios Venturis Roussas on the 15th of June 1946 in Alexandria, Egypt. Born and raised in Alexandria, Egypt, Roussos came from a Greek family. His father George was a classical guitarist and engineer, while his mother Olga was active in an amateur Greek theatrical group alongside her husband. Roussos' mother's grandparents hailed from Chios, having relocated to Alexandria following the Asia Minor catastrophe, while his father's grandparents were originally from Hania. His grandfather had moved to Egypt in the early 1900s with his underage future wife, changing his surname from Venturis to Roussos to avoid detection by her family. As the first son of George and Olga, Roussos was joined by his younger brother, Costandinos, three years later. Throughout his childhood, Roussos was influenced by the diverse music scene in Egypt. The sound of Arabic music became one of his biggest influences. At the age of 10, he developed an interest in jazz and learned to play the trumpet. Additionally, he joined the choir of the Greek Byzantine Church in Alexandria, where he sang as a soloist for five years. At the age of 15, Roussos's life changed dramatically due to the Suez Canal crisis. His family left Egypt and immigrated to Greece. To support his family, Roussos attended school during the day and played the trumpet in various Athens clubs at night. Two years later, he formed his first band, The Idols, where he played bass guitar and sang backing vocals. One night, when the lead singer needed a break, Roussos stepped in and performed The House of the Rising Sun, and When a Man Loves a Woman, leaving the audience amazed. From that night on, he was frequently asked to sing. Within a short period, Roussos built a strong reputation in the music scene. During this time, he met Lackeys Vlavianos, who would become one of his most successful collaborators. From this meeting, a new band called, We Five was formed, with Roussos as the lead singer. In 1968, Roussos's path crossed with two other top Greek musicians, Vangelis Papathanasiou and Lucas Sidiros. Their collaboration resulted in one of the biggest musical phenomena of the 70s, Aphrodite's Child. The ambitious band decided to travel to the United Kingdom for better commercial prospects, with Roussos, who had now shortened his name to Demis, as the singer and bass player, Vangelis as the main composer and keyboard player, and Lucas on drums. However, they were refused entry to the UK due to a lack of work permits. Instead, Aphrodite's Child traveled to Paris, arriving just as the city was experiencing the May 68 revolution. After performing a few concerts in trendy Parisian clubs, a major record company offered to produce a song inspired by Packlebell's canon called Rain and Tears. This song became a massive hit, selling over a million copies in France alone. Nine months later, just after the birth of Roussos's first daughter Emily, Rain and Tears topped charts across Europe and became a top 20 single in the United Kingdom. Over the next three years, the band experienced tremendous success, with Roussos's operatic vocal style playing a significant role in their international acclaim. Their final album, 666, based on passages from the Book of Revelation, became a progressive rock cult classic. However, for various reasons, Aphrodite's child decided to disband. After the breakup, Roussos continued to collaborate sporadically with his former bandmate Vangelis. In 1970, they released the film score album, Sex Power, sometimes credited to Aphrodite's Child. They later recorded the 1977 album, Magic Together. Their most successful collaboration was Race to the End, a vocal adaptation of the theme from the Oscar-winning film Chariots of Fire, scored by Vangelis. Roussus also contributed to Vangelis's soundtrack for Blade Runner in 1982, featuring on tracks like Tales of the Future, Damask Rose, Taffy's Snake Pit Bar, and On the Trail of Nexus 6, some of which were officially released on the 29th Anniversary Limited Edition CD set in 2011. As a key member of the band, Roussos was offered the chance to record his first solo single, We Shall Dance, which was released on the album On the Greek Side of My Mind. Both the album and the single quickly climbed into the top five of the national hit parades in Italy, Spain, France, Holland, Germany, and Scandinavia. A few months later, Roussos reunited with his old friend from We Five, Lackeys Vlavianos, Lackeys, experiencing a prolific period of songwriting, penned several hit songs that Roussis recorded. Among them was Forever and Ever, which topped the charts in multiple countries in 1973 and later reached number one on the UK singles chart in 1976. Other hits included My Friend the Wind and Velvet Mornings. Roussos also found success with songs like My Reason, Goodbye My Love Goodbye, Someday Somewhere, and Lovely Lady of Arcadia. 
His first UK chart success came in 1975 with Happy to be on an Island in the Sun, written by Northern Irishman David Lewis, which reached number 5 on the charts. Roussos's widespread popularity across Europe, Latin America, the Middle East, and Japan, contrasted with his lesser-known status in the UK, intrigued BBC TV producer John King. This led to the 1976 documentary The Roussos Phenomenon. Philips Records released a four-song record of the same name, which became the first extended play to top the UK singles chart. In 1973, Roussos made one of his earliest television appearances on The Basil Brush Show, and also appeared on Nana Mascouri's TV show in the UK. After the birth of his second child Cyril, in 1975, Roussos embarked on an eight-year global tour with his family. In Brazil, he performed for an audience of 150,000 people, a feat previously achieved only by Frank Sinatra in that particular stadium. Roussos's prolific record sales earned him a place in the Guinness Book of Records among the top show business personalities of the 1970s and 1980s. He was awarded more than 100 gold, platinum, and diamond albums and cassettes. Roussos's unique and often considered eccentric dressing style was inspired by his belief that his music should be complemented by a blend of the Byzantine Empire's grandeur and the Arabic kaftan's elegance. In 1978, he scored his only disco hit with L.O.V.E. Got a Hold of Me. Two years later, he had a hit with a cover of Air Supplies, Lost in Love, performed as a duet with Florence Warner. In June 1980, weighing 147 kilograms, Roussos began a dedicated diet and lost 50 kilograms in 10 months, surprising many. With Veronique Skarwinska, a friend of his, writing a book about the diet he had undertaken not long after. In 1982, during continuous touring, Roussos released an album titled, Demis, featuring collaboration with John Anderson of the band Yes. Anderson contributed the music and lyrics for the song Lament, and wrote lyrics for two other tracks, Song for the Free, and Race to the End, the latter being a vocal adaptation of Vangelis's Chariots of Fire. Later that year, Roussos released the album Attitudes, followed by Reflection in 1984. On June 14, 1985, a pivotal event occurred in Roussos's life while traveling from Athens to Rome. The TWA airplane he was on was hijacked by terrorists. After spending two days praying on the plane, Roussos and his third wife were held for three days in a Beirut prison. Like many other survivors, he experienced the shock and trauma of the ordeal. This harrowing experience gave Roussos a profound understanding of the importance of peace among nations and the preciousness of life when faced with death. Motivated by this newfound perspective, he decided to return to the recording and performance scene, believing that his music could contribute to a better tomorrow. He recorded 20 songs and compiled an album titled The Story of Demis Roussos. With this release, Roussos embarked on a world tour, reconnecting with a nostalgic audience that had missed his magical voice. In 1986, he embarked on a three-week tour of the USSR and participated in the Forum for Peace and Disarmament in Moscow in February 1987, alongside prominent scientists, writers, and artists. Later that year, amidst a busy TV schedule in Chile, Roussos prioritized a visit to the Earth Summit in Rio to gain insight into environmental issues, which deeply concerned him. The 1990s marked significant releases for Roussos. His album Insight, also known as Morning Has Broken, was well received in 1993. Teaming up with BR Music in the Netherlands, he produced albums like Immortal, Serenade, and In Holland. Roussos continued recording and touring into the 2000s. His best of collection, Forever and Ever, definitive collection, reached number 17 on the UK albums chart in 2002, although critics noted changes in his voice, from a trilling vibrato to a huskier, at times guttural, whisper. In later years, he made appearances in Russia and the United Arab Emirates. A devout follower of the Greek Orthodox faith, he performed as a guest singer in churches across Greece and globally, including in France. In 2006, he released Demis Roussos, live in Brazil, nearly 30 years after his Portuguese hit Voce Voce e Nada Mais, in 1977. From 2006 to 2008, he participated in the Age Tendra at Tete's Du Bois tour, featuring French singers from the 1960s and 1970s. Roussos staged a comeback in 2009, recording his final studio album, Demis, produced by Marc Di Domenico and released on May 11. The album featured Virgil Howe, son of Steve Howe, on drums. Just a month before his passing, Roussos curated tracks for his life's work compilation, Demis Roussos Collected, featuring notes by his children Emily and Cyril. Released in March 2015, the compilation reached number one on the Belgian album charts and peaked at number 61 in the Netherlands. Personally, Roussos entered into marriage four times during his lifetime. 
His first wife Monique, gave birth to their daughter Emily. His second wife Dominique, bore him a son named Cyril. During the 1985 TWA plane hijacking incident, he was accompanied by his third wife, the American model Pamela Smith, now known as Pamela Rusis Rutiu following her marriage to Romanian businessman Indre Rutiu in 2004. His fourth and final marriage was to Marie, a Parisian woman. Sadly, on January 25, 2015, Demis Roussos passed away at the age of 68 due to stomach, pancreatic, and liver cancer at Hygieia Hospital in Athens, Greece. His funeral took place at the First Cemetery of Athens, a burial ground for numerous Greek politicians and cultural figures, on January 30th. And there you have it. Thank you for joining us on this journey of Demis Roussos. His music continues to resonate, leaving an indelible mark on fans across the globe. We hope you enjoyed celebrating his incredible career and contributions to music. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more stories of iconic artists who have shaped the soundtrack of our lives. Take care and bye for now.